Cardinal Zen has been arrested. So I've just seen the news come out, various different sources, various different agencies, uh, Washington Post have just, just published it, so it's not fake news. I mean, what can we say? Uh, over the past few years, there's, there's been this secret Vatican deal between the communist government and the Vatican, in which bishops who are members of the communist Chinese communist government, bishops who are active members of a, the Chinese party, uh, supp who support the Chinese uh, communist policies and so forth, um, there's been this secret deal between the Vatican and the Chinese government in which the underground church and the Chinese patriotic church were kind of pushed into one. This whole deal was put together by a very well-known cardinal called Cardinal McCarrick, the paedophile who uh, Pope Francis had to remove the red hat from. Um, yes, indeed. Indeed, it was negotiated by Cardinal McCarrick. Everybody knows this. So you can just have to read the McCarrick report. Um, Pope Francis rehabilitated Cardinal McCarrick even when Cardinal v um, Archbishop Vigano told the Pope about this. And the Pope confirmed that conversation with Vigano in an interview he did with a, a Mexican reporter. Um, it was on YouTube until it got taken down. But anyway, all of this aside, all of these facts aside, not rumours, these are facts. The, the Chinese government and the Vatican have a secret deal that was negotiated by Cardinal McCarrick. Cardinal Zen, a 90-year-old uh, cardinal from Hong Kong, went to Rome to talk with Pope Francis about this deal. And this great Pope that we have, that's a Pope of the ghost the peripheries, that likes to dialogue, that has this synod on synodality, that wants people's opinions. And this Pope doesn't like talking to certain people. And he didn't want to talk to Cardinal Zen. And he wouldn't receive Cardinal Zen. And so Cardinal Zen has now returned to Hong Kong and has been arrested. We don't know what was in this secret Vatican deal. So we don't know what the Pope is going to do. Is he going to say anything? Or is he just going to keep quiet? Um, you know, I do think it's, it's important that we ask questions. What's going on here? Uh, under this new deal, the Pope was supposed to be allowed to uh, appoint bishops in China. There's dozens of... Um, uh, there's dozens of dioceses now in China that don't have a bishop appointed by Pope Francis. There's been very, very few uh, bishops ordained under this new secret deal that Cardinal, ex-Cardinal paedophile McCarrick organised. Uh, it wasn't just once the time that Cardinal McCarrick went to China. He went there multiple times by after he was rehabilitated by Pope Francis. And you might think I'm being very harsh about this whole uh, deal of Cardinal Zen being arrested. You, you might think I'm being very harsh on Pope Francis. I am being harsh on a, on a Pope that won't even meet the people that were in conclave with him, if you know what I mean. Cardinal Zen, 90-year-old, was in conclave with... Uh, Pope Francis, Cardinal, um, Cardinal Bergoglio then, these people, these men knew each other. And not to be able to have a private conversation with a man who went into Rome to talk to him about a secret deal that so many Catholics felt betrayed by. I mean, it's, it's very sad in the church that there are so many Catholics who feel betrayed, let down by this Pope. Very, very sad. Um, and we don't hear yet Pope Francis say anything about the arrest of Cardinal Zen. We don't hear anything about this secret deal. Um, we haven't heard Pope Francis deny that he knew about Cardinal McCarrick. He never denied what Vigano has claimed. You know, v Cardinal, uh, Archbishop Vigano told the Pope about Cardinal McCarrick back in 2013. Pope Francis, during that interview with that Mexican reporter, uh, that piece of the interview, which was actually cut, 
uh, Pope Francis confirmed. Well, maybe he did say it. Maybe, really, Pope Francis. Maybe he did. Either he did or he didn't. This, you know, maybe Cardinal Vigano, uh, Archbishop Vigano did say to me about Cardinal McCarrick back in 2013. Well, Archbishop Vigano is very sure that he did say it. But even so, the Pope rehabilitated Cardinal McCarrick. The Pope used Cardinal McCarrick to create this deal with the Communist Party in China, which is a party that does not want to allow the faith, the Catholic faith, or any faith really, to flourish in China because it's communism first. Um, so Karl McCarrick did that deal. That deal is secret. And now we see the fruits of this deal, the destruction of the faith or the Communist Party will try anyway as best they can. They will f do it one way or the other. Uh, so very, very sad to see what's going on in, in, in uh, Hong Kong at the moment. Um, and it's a pity that we don't have somebody that's willing to stand up for uh, the faithful in China. These bishops that are members of the Communist Party support Communist Party's uh, policies. They support, for example, re-education camps for Muslims. They support abortion. They support uh, everything, um, uh, you know, anti-anti-anti-conceptives. You know, uh, this is this is this is this, the, where we are in the church today in twenty twenty two. A pope silent on Cardinal Zen, a pope that allowed. Uh, this deal to be signed with the Communist Party and we don't know if under this deal it was allowed even to arrest Cardinals and we don't know we don't know we have no clue uh, so I just think we need to pray um, and as laity we need to ask questions what is going on in the church we seriously need to ask questions we seriously need to push back against what we've seen going on at the in Rome especially when it comes to how Cardinal Zen was treated it's, it's simply not acceptable. The least the Pope could have done is to have a 10 minute conversation with a man who has given so much of his life to the church and who had legitimate questions to ask about a deal with the communist government. Uh, so let's see where this goes. Please pray for Cardinal Zen. Um, I, I do think this is a, a horrific time in the church, but look, we have to see where this goes. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.